When leaving a roundabout after going left or going ahead, it's fairly simple because you rarely have to change lane. However, when you want to leave a roundabout after turning right, that's when things get a little bit more complicated. Normally, when you go right at a roundabout, you start in the right-hand lane. And then when you want to leave, you have to drift to the left. Here are some examples. I'm going left at this roundabout. So center left mirror, left signal, and I'm in the left lane. I need to give way to cars on the roundabout before I enter, but I don't need to change lane to leave the roundabout. I can just stay in the left lane. I'm aware of my center and left mirror in case any cyclists come up alongside me. But as I don't need to change lane, that was fairly straightforward. At this roundabout, I'm going ahead, second exit, and I'll use the left lane. Usually you use the left lane to go ahead. There's no signs or road markings to say I need the right lane to go ahead. So I've slowed down, I give way before I enter the roundabout again, I'm in the left lane, I stay in the left lane as I go around the roundabout, center left mirror and left signal to leave the roundabout. I check my mirrors, so I'm aware of where the cyclists are, but again, I didn't need to change lane. At this roundabout though, I'm going right. So center right mirror, right signal. I'm going to need the right lane because that's the lane you usually use when going right. I'm gonna give way to the roundabout again. Looks like I can go. So I'm going right in the right lane. Now I'm passing the exit before the one I need to take. Center left mirror and drift to the left as I leave to make it clear to these other cars that I am leaving. I'm not going round the roundabout. Also drifting to the left stopped any cars on my left trying to come up alongside me before I left the roundabout. That roundabout wasn't the best example because it's too small, therefore I didn't have much time to move to the left. I still tried to move to the left a little bit to warn other cars who wanted to enter the roundabout that I was leaving, but also to close the space off to my left. I didn't want to invite any cars behind to pass me as I was trying to leave. So if I move to the left early, that closes off that space, preventing them from attempting to pass me on the left, meaning I can leave more safely. On bigger roundabouts though, where there are clear lane markings, it's even more important to move to the left before you leave. This is a bigger roundabout, I'm going right. It's the fourth exit to Mersey, it says Mersey on the road. I'm in the right lane, staying in the right lane for now. That's exit one, exit two. Coming up to exit three now, so getting ready to change lane. Mirror signal left into the left lane, which did say Mersey, and I'm staying in this left lane now, so it's clear that I'm leaving the roundabout at this exit. As you can see, I moved over to the left as early as I could. That means I moved over to the left when I passed the penultimate exit. The penultimate exit is important on the roundabout because that's the exit before the one you wanted to take. That's when you need to start taking action to leave. As I approach the penultimate exit, that's when I start to check my mirrors to make sure it's safe for me to change lane. And then when I pass the penultimate exit, as soon as I do that, I signal and then move over to the left as early as I can to make sure no one tries to drive alongside me. But also it looks like I'm leaving because now I'm to the left. Many new drivers that I teach struggle to do this without practice. They're a bit nervous about changing lane. They stay in the right lane and want to dive off at the last minute, but that's misleading. That makes it look like they're going round, but also that means there's more chance there's gonna be a car on their left as they try to leave. Same roundabout here, but this time I'm leaving late as a learner would usually do. So mirror signal left, I'm not changing to the left lane. I'm not changing to the left lane. And then at the last moment, I then jump off the roundabout. It looked like I was going round that roundabout there. And there's a Skoda behind me I was a little bit worried about because, you know, they could have passed me on the left if they really wanted to. Of course, moving over too early would be just as bad because it would look like you're taking the exit before the one you want to take, the penultimate exit. What you wanna do is as you approach the penultimate exit, start to check your mirrors and make sure it's safe to change lane. As soon as you pass the penultimate exit, signal and then change lane. If you struggle to position yourself when you're changing lane on roundabouts, that's normal for new drivers. 
Usually it's because they're checking their mirrors too much at the same time as trying to change lane. It doesn't really work very well. What you wanna do is as you approach the penultimate exit, start checking your mirrors to make sure it's safe. And as you pass the penultimate exit, signal and look forwards and change lane carefully. If you're looking forwards, you'll change lane better. Same roundabout again, right fourth exit. That's number one. That's number two. Coming up to the penultimate now, number three. So I'm checking my mirrors. It's safe, so signal. And now I'm looking forwards as I change lane into the left lane to leave. And the Persia behind has no chance of trying to pass me on the left before I leave the roundabout. You may have noticed that I didn't wait until I was completely past the penultimate exit before I started signaling to leave the roundabout. And that's normal. Usually you start to signal to leave when it's clear via your position and speed that it's no longer possible for you to take that exit. You don't have to wait for your car to be completely past the penultimate exit. Most roundabouts aren't that big. And if you did that, you wouldn't actually have much time signaling left to leave. So you want to signal as early as you can without it being misleading. And if you're worried about your mirrors, you're thinking you can't see the full story before you change lane, a quick sideways glance like that should be all you need to do to see what's next to you. Sometimes there's more than one lane on the exit of the roundabout like there is here. I'm in the right lane going round this roundabout and there's two lanes on the exit, so there isn't actually a need for me to change lane to leave. So mirror signal left now, I'm staying in the right lane, there's a van on my left and I leave in the right lane. I'm gonna ignore the lights now and carry on. And now I've left the roundabout, I can mirror signal left and change to the left lane when it's safer. It is safer to change lane on the straight road than it is on a roundabout. It's important I make a point about dual carriageways. Dual carriageways aren't roads with two lanes. How many lanes the road has is not relevant. A dual carriageway is a road when both directions of traffic are separated by a central reservation. It can be an island, it can be some grass, and each carriageway can have multiple lanes or even just one lane. How many lanes they have doesn't matter. But if your carriageway does have more than one lane, then you should be in the left lane unless you're overtaking. I'm making this point because I find examiners are particularly harsh if you leave a roundabout in the right lane on a dual carriageway and then stay in that lane without moving to left and stay slow. Then people are passing you on the left. You may be looking at your mirrors thinking, I need to change lane, but because you're going slow, more and more people are passing you on the left and you don't get a chance to change lane and then you fail. They're quite harsh because the reason why I think they're harsh is because they fail pupils even if the dual carriageway is short between two roundabouts. If you're on a dual carriageway, get to the left lane as early as you can. Pick up your speed to discourage people from overtaking you, which means you're less likely to have an opportunity to change lane. And for this reason, I actually usually encourage my pupils to change lane on the roundabout when it's safe to do so, so they don't have to worry about doing it after. Here's an example of what normally causes pupils to fail on this roundabout in particular. So they're in the right lane, going right, mirror signal left to leave. There's actually a van next to me now, so I can't change lane. They're forced to leave in the right lane, and then they stay slow. They think about the lights, they deal with the lights, and they think, right, it's time to change lane now, and they start checking their mirrors. But there's a constant stream of cars passing them on the left because they're staying slow. However, there is actually no traffic there at the moment, so it's not a problem for me. But you can see that if it was more busy, staying slow, will just cause everyone to pass you on the left and then they fail for being on a dual carriageway, which is what this is. There's a central reservation there separating the two directions of traffic. They fail for being in the right lane of a dual carriageway when not overtaking. If you are forced to leave in the right lane, let's say I was here, I can move over, but let's say I needed to, get your speed up. It's a 40 road now, speed up to the speed limit and now, it's easy to change lane. There's actually quite a few cars behind me there, but as I'm doing the same speed as them, they're not passing me and I can get over. Sometimes you may be using your signal to help others, 
but in fact is actually misleading someone else. If you feel that's the case, it's best not to signal. A good example is when you have two roads on the left and you're planning to turn into the second road, but you signal left before the first road. People think you're taking the first road and then they pull out in front of you, so it's not safe. If you think your signal is misleading, then it's best to leave it until a time where it's no longer misleading. Here's a good example of a roundabout where I need to delay my signal. I'm going right and I'm taking exit number four. The trouble is exit number three and four are close together. So if I signal left when I need to change my position, it's gonna look like I'm taking exit number three. So what I need to do is cancel my signal and then change my position. So that's one, this is exit two. So cancel my signal now, change my position to make it look like I'm taking number four, indicate now it looks like I can't take number three and then I'm ready to take number four. It was better there for me not to signal than either signal right or left. Signaling right will make it look like I'm turning right and going round the roundabout and signaling left will make it look like I'm taking the exit before the one I want, which is dangerous because people will pull out in front of me. As you can see on that roundabout, exits three and four are super close together. That means I can't signal left to change lane. If I do that, it looks like I'm taking exit three. If I was to stay in the right lane and signal right, then it looks like I'm going round the roundabout and suddenly dive off, which also isn't safe. So in my opinion, the safest thing to do is to cancel the signal check my mirrors to make sure it's safe, carefully change lane into the correct lane for leaving at exit four, so it's clear that I'm taking exit four from my position, and then I put my signal on when I've passed exit three. A common mistake learners make when it comes to leaving roundabouts is they see a car in their mirrors and they think, oh no, I can't change lane. Well, when you look in your mirrors, there's pretty much always gonna be a car there unless it's very quiet. What's important is you're not gonna make that car break significantly as you change lane. When you leave a roundabout, often you need to go to the left. Cars shouldn't really pass you on the left. So if there's no one currently there, my advice is to move over before somebody is there. If they're approaching you quickly and you think it's unsafe or they're already alongside you, then it's best not to change lane. You always have the option of going all the way around the roundabout again if you have to. Well, I hope this video helps when it comes to leaving roundabouts. If you think it does, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for car insurance, check out the links to Conningwood and Confused in the description. If you're learning to drive and want to insure yourself on somebody else's car, then Collingwood are there for you because you can do so without affecting the owner's policy, which takes away a big stress from the owner of that car. Via the link at the moment, there's up to 35% off and a £20 Amazon gift card. If you want to insure your own car, check out the link to confuse.com. You fill out one quote form and get loads of quotes back from many insurers to compare who's cheapest. And you can change your car on that quote as many times as you like, which is really handy when you're trying to compare how much it costs to insure different cars. Using the links doesn't cost you anything, but it does support the channel, so thank you very much. Subscribe to get my future videos, and until the next one, cheerio.